in the high school auditorium speaking at his inaugural address to the nation. He mentioned to not ask what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. That was the guidance that most of my generation followed, joining the armed forces, the Peace Corps, or working for the government. My uh, military duty with the local guard unit, that's why I'm wearing this uniform. I can't fit in the old uniform. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Uh, Vietnam was a turning point in our history, and it changed our country, some in good ways and some that were not. Wars have always caused dissension in our country, but we have the freedom to protest. <clears throat> there have been protests to all the wars our country has been, from the Revolutionary War to today's war in Iraq, something that we need to remember today. That's why it's so important for us to know our history so we don't repeat the mistakes of the past. Mr. Sankey, I put that in for you. My wife had returned to college when I was in Vietnam, but due to the campus unrest at the time over the war, did not mention to anyone that she was the wife of a soldier serving in Vietnam, except for a few close friends. I was not very happy to hear about that. It is fine to protest a war. That is one of our rights as Americans, but you should not be against the individual soldier. He joined the fight for his country and for freedom, but does not choose the wars or engagements. Soldiers who came home from Vietnam uh, were harassed and hassled by people who protested the war. Those deaths most, including me, did not talk about it for 30 years. After Vietnam, patriotism fell out of favor in the United States and it became a country of people who did not believe in serving their country, but were only interested in what they could get, a very selfish attitude centered on themselves and our country suffered because of this me first attitude. It took September 11th to change that. It is a tragedy that all those people had to die to wake up the citizens of America to what they had and what could be lost. We enjoy freedom here in the United States and that's why so many people come here. But many that are already here do not appreciate the freedoms and rights that we have. I hope the new immigrants that we have will embrace our country, its traditions, and find it a country to fight for and join the service and become citizens. As many veterans can tell you, and as Dr. Eisenhower mentioned, freedom is not free. You have to give back to your country and serve it to feel good about yourself. You can't just sit there and take and take and give nothing back. It has been said that war is hell, and that is certainly true. Soldiers are killed and maimed physically and mentally, sometimes long after. Some Vietnam vets I know are just now being hit by stress syndromes 30 years after the war, or during the middle of a speech to a full auditorium. <laughs> Wars are not started by soldiers. Politicians do that. But they need to have the resolve to stick it out through all the controversy that revolves around war and ended with a victory. The soldiers who gave up their lives and bodies for the cause are owed a proper finish to the war or their lives are wasted. She saw how much being in the guard developed his character through the experience of uh, BASIC and AIT. She was all for our youngest son joining up also. The old recruiting slogan the Army used to have, to be all you can be, is certainly true. I never felt more alive than when I was in Vietnam, doing the best job I could to make sure my convoys delivered their supplies to the troops. Being on the side of the road in Ambush Alley between On K and Play Ku, all along the silence, trying to get a broken down truck moving again was quite an experience, and one I definitely don't want to repeat, as, as was being awoken in the night by mortar and rocket attacks, which happen fairly often. If you do not serve your country, you will not be aware of what your capabilities are. Thus, you will never be the person you could have been. So when you see a soldier, you know that they are doing more than they ever thought possible, and, should at least, and you should at least respect that. A funny thing has developed lately. People who were never in Vietnam are now claiming that they were there, even though they did not serve and indeed tried their best to avoid serving. We call them wannabes now. So don't be one of them. Follow your, fav your fellow patriotic Americans and serve your country as so many have done before you. One of the more moving experiences in my life was visiting the World War II cemeteries in Europe. Those rows and rows of thousands of crosses extended as far as the eye can see really brings home to you how many have given their lives for freedom. If you have seen the movie Saving Private Ryan, you have experienced some of this. 
You can see an actual military cemetery right here in Nebraska at Fort McPherson, and I urge you to go. When they came back from the war, veterans seldom mentioned their experiences, and I was one of them. This was true of all veterans, not just Vietnam veterans. We had fought for a life of freedom, and then put war behind us to get on with living. The soldiers' families never knew what they did in the war, and that was a shame. And that is why Mr. Sankey's interviews that he's been doing uh, with veterans is so important to the veteran, his family, and our nation. And you'll be able to see those at the heart of the military museum. I've gotten involved with Vietnam veteran groups and individuals since the internet got going. I had not thought of Vietnam or talked to anyone about it for over 30 years. Now I've been meeting fellow veterans on the internet. This summer went to a reunion of Vietnam gun truckers at Fort Eustis, Virginia. It was a celebration of our survival and a new book that a friend of mine had written uh, about the gun trucks that predicted our convoys. Meeting all the guys was great and was well worth all the money I spent. And sharing our experiences and stories was very good for all involved. Uh, many had not talked about it at all, and it was a great release for them to speak to us uh, the first time. I now do artwork from the photos I took in Vietnam. Uh, there's one example over here, uh, but I just recently sent all the rest of it to uh, the Transportation Museum at Fort Eustis, Virginia. Uh, they're going to display it uh, there, so if you're ever at Fort Eustis, be sure and drop by. Luckily, we have a group of veterans who, through their interest in restoring military vehicles, have built a great museum out on the interstate, the Hartman Military Museum. They have some of their vehicles here today for you to look at after school, and will be in the parade today. I urge you to look at them and take your family out to the parade and the museum. America has been lucky to not have a war on its soil since the Civil War. But since 9-11, that has all changed, and the war on terrorism began. This is making veterans of us all.